How to have a winning presentation A journey from zero to hero In the time of global pandemic people have become intolerant and short-tempered They no longer want long speeches and detailed notes All they have become fond of is concise and precise stuff Therefore to cut a long story short I am going to discuss how to have a 5 minutes killing presentation for the sake of convenience i have divided the presentation into three dimensions so it's a three dimensional scheme intellectual psychological and physical scheme so the first one is intellectual dimension intellectual dimension tends secondary importance until and unless the remaining two are professionally followed however it is one of the essential parts of 3d scheme introduction introduction includes introduction of the presenter and title nothing is necessary to introduce other than the presenter's name followed by presenting the name of the title it is noteworthy that the presenter is presenting rather than reading so during an introduction the presenter should prefer looking at the audience rather than straight forwardly reading it from slides know your audience this is the most important episode in the process of presentation most often the presenter ignores it by knowing the audience means keeping two things in mind audience level of understanding and their background knowledge it is okay if the presenter comes up with something he or she knows but he or she should craft the knowledge in such a fashion to make it easy for the audience to grasp it this leads us to think about appropriateness and relevancy by appropriateness i mean to present something that is acceptable and digestible in simple words the presenter should know what to say and how to say it secondly the presenter should present relevant materials remember you are lesser or cranky so keep it short and to the point don't give irrelevant information this will create block thus misunderstanding the structure of presentation for the sake of professional outlook every presentation has a beginning body and conclusion the beginning part inculcates an introduction of the presenter plus highlighting the outlines in outlines the presenter should highlight what he or she is going to discuss make sure the presentation is neither less nor more than 5 minutes in the body section discuss the relevant content the content should be feasible concise and precise this is the section that certainly requires more time to take if the presentation is surely around 5 minutes then 3 minutes should be given to discuss the content make sure that the content is that much short that it only requires 3 minutes nevertheless it all depends on the topic one chooses furthermore the conclusion section includes brief summary of the overall topic and then ask about questions if the audience has the psychological dimension even though the presenter is smart enough to come up with concise and precise material but if he or she is psychologically unsettled the chance of winning the heart of audience is at risk the major source of psychological health during presentation is confidence confidence is the key to success but what exactly is confidence is it about speaking fast or is it about using flowery language 
no it isn't confidence is all about showing familiarity with the chosen topic the stronger the command on the topic is the more confidence builds up it is not about speaking fast and using showy language rather it is exclusively about cool nature and command of the presenter on the topic but what exactly kills one's confidence four things are surely the sources of destroying one's confidence the first one is fear of making mistakes atelophobia fear of making mistakes is called atelophobia is the first major source of lack of confidence we all know that no one in this world is perfect we are perfectly imperfect there is nothing wrong if one is wrong so come up with mistakes and don't get nervous the time one accepts one's mistakes 80% of the problem is solved because facing the problem has to have 80% solution in hands the second source of lack of confidence is lack of background knowledge the second equally important source of destruction of confidence is lack of background information it means that the presenter hasn't pre-planned everything in other words impromptu presentation is the most difficult job therefore pre-planning everything is the pillar of confidence impromptu means unprepared speech or presentation the third source of lack of confidence is worries in real life no one in this world is tension free the real life worries actually matter if they have a profound influence on an acad- academic career most of the presenters cannot spell the worries off their heads so better to come up with clear head and purpose in other words a presenter shouldn't mix his or her personal life with the professional career the fourth source of destruction of confidence is lack of self care despite the fact that it has everything to do with physical dimension but it certainly has a deep influence on mind as well however horrible hair and clothes are the external source of making one diffident while dirty socks short and teeth are the internal source of lack of confidence it is believed that the internal source matters a lot physical dimension physical dimension includes body language and the style of speaking language the presenter's body language determines whether or not he or she is confident and relaxed avoid improper posture if the presenter has stage fright he or she should firmly hold a pen in one hand while speaking language means style and accent there is no need to adopt pretension until and unless the presenter has a healthy skill of it come up with natural accent slowly and gradually at well bloom within physical dimension we have eye contact this is the most challenging job to do during presentation it is natural for human being that he or she gets nervous if being watched nevertheless the presenter must maintain eye contact during presentation better to look at your chosen fellow so that not to lose confidence after one or two minutes look at other fellows if the presenter is still nervous he or she should fix eyes 2 or 3 inches above the listener's head furthermore in order to develop professional eye contact the presenter needs to consider himself as a knowledgeable person he or she should think that he knows everything and is a jack in that field 
but it is not about only considering but pre-planning everything a complete guide to and command on the topic